right, Art Toll Bered, I am here with Savannah Marshall. You may be listening to this on Apple Podcasts or you could be watching on YouTube, who knows? But either way, I'm delighted and grateful to be joined by the challenger. Savannah Marshall, welcome back. Thanks for having me. Don't like the sound of the challenger like. Talk to us straight back in the fire again. Different opponent, but going for undisputed. Your mindset, Savannah, coming back after loss to literally go for gold again. I've got nothing to lose. I've got nothing to lose. Um, I had other options, other opponents, probably, well, opponents that had 100% turnover and it was a definite win. Um, but I, I couldn't do that myself. How can I get, you know, build myself up through camp for, for a fight that I knew I, I was definitely going to win? Even for the fans, people paying hundreds of pounds for tickets, travel, to, to, who follow me all over the country. So I want to be world champion again. I want to be world champion again. The opportunity come to fight French and I've grabbed it with both hands. The loss, a fight out of your calibre. You go in against a tough opponent. I watched it at home. I was shocked. The results. How did you deal with it? As you know, you were in there. You're the one that lost the fight. How do you deal with it as a fighter that loses? Well, it was hard. It was really hard. Um, but look, I can't take anything away from Clarissa. She's a good fighter, and I knew she was a good fighter. She was tougher than what I thought. I didn't think she was as tough as she was. Um, and the, the better fighter won. But taking the loss was hard. It was really hard. It's, do you know, as you, you question a lot of things, um, do you even want to continue in the sport? That type of thing. But look, once the clouds uh, disappeared, I realised, look, I, I am good enough and I want to be a champion again. I think sometimes us fans, we, we are fickle. We're kind of like, not fair weather, because some of us are loyal to whoever we support. But you as a fighter having to psychologically deal with it, I remember I spoke to Terry Harper after she lost and she was like telling me about, say for example, she went into the supermarket once when she was a champion and everyone loved her, but then it got to the point where she didn't even want to go out because she felt that kind of like an embarrassment associated with it. I don't know, is that something that you could relate to? Uh no, not really. I don't like people anyway, so <laughs> people don't come up to me. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. No. But getting back on the horse then, looking at things that you could have done, fair enough, you can't say shoulda, coulda, woulda, because it's done. But then you going back to rebuild to prepare for this fight. When you look within yourself and you think, okay, to prepare to become that better fighter, what have you had to do? Um... Get back in the gym. Do you know I've I had months off. I had about four oh, months off, yeah. And this is probably the longest I've had off since I was 16. I've been full time since I was 16. And normally I have a I have a fight, and two weeks later I'm back in the gym. So definitely some soul searching. I let my body heal, and do you know it's 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 done me well. I've put a little bit of weight on, a bit heavier, which suits going up a weight. And do you know it, it got me wanting to be back in the gym. I have brutal camps, my training's hard, I have hard sparring, um, so you know, just that edge to want to get up and get back in the gym was you know, excitement for me. What was the snap? What was it, like you said, four months off, what was it that day when you woke up and you said, no more, I'm going back in the gym, what was it? I was, oh, I'm sick of being fat now. <laughs> I didn't, I, like I said, I've been full time since I was 17. So I haven't had that routine. Getting up at 11 o'clock, buy a chocolate for breakfast. Do you know what I mean? Nothing's fitting me anymore. I think, mate, I need to get my life back on track. This fight then, you look at Franchon, she's obviously an undisputed super middleweight champion. A skilled fighter. The belts just didn't fall into her lap. What do you see as the attributes? And, I, I, you know, weakness is fair enough, but... What are the attributes that you can take away from Franchon to ensure that you win? Because her nickname being the heavy hitter. She's very rough. Very rough. Uh, she, can, she can be seen as not... I don't even think... She, she's not even very nice on the eye. Her style's not very nice on the eye. Very rugged. She can be seen as novicey, but she's not. She's, she's made what she's good at work for her. And... 
like I said, it, it works. She's rough. You know, she, she knows all the little tricks. She'll have you on the floor. There'll be a couple of shots behind the ear, that type of thing. Um, and then she's tough herself. Do you know, I've seen her, seen her get take some big shots of some some big women. And yeah, she's got heart. Um, but I wouldn't have took this fight if I didn't think I could win. Do you believe that with this fight, it's going to be more like a? It's going to take you to deep waters mentally because of, like you said, you know, she said it herself as well. That heart. Do you feel like it's going to be more of like a really dig deep, deep fight with this one? Not saying that you didn't have that with Clarissa, but it's like I don't know, kind of like the battle of the minds. Who really wants this more? Because she wants to keep what she's got, and you want to take it away. No, I think it'll be. It's more of a physical battle this one. I think, look, you can say you've got heart, you can say you've been brought up this way, you can say nothing's fell into your lap, you can say that I've been given opportunities, but the reality of it is she asked me for this fight, she called me out, do you know, so I wasn't given any opportunity. She asked me, she called me out, so I, I definitely think it's a, it's a physical fight. I can sit here and tell you everyone what I've been through, do you know, at the end of the day, no one cares, no one's interested either. It's about, sorry, it's about skills and... Yeah, mindset. I'm looking forward to this fight. The thing is, I don't know, when you look at learning, what would you say that you've learnt from your last fight to bring into this one? Um, yeah, what was the biggest learning thing for you? For me, it was... Uh, I think a lot, a lot of people around me, I, I, I think they were worried that I couldn't handle the occasion. I think that I think I shocked a couple of people that I could, and I maybe surprised myself, you know, because I was bang up for that fight. I was super confident. Everything was there for me. I think even before the fight, I was 33 to one to be um, sports personality of the year. So everything was there for me, and it didn't happen. It didn't happen for me. It was hard, and because of who she was as well, we're not the friendliest. We're not, you know, mates. We were each other up the wrong way. So I think, you know, that. That was hard to take as well. So, look, for me, coming back, coming back, um, yeah, I thought me well was over, and I suppose any other boxer out there that has the first professional loss thinks the same. So, I'm a lot stronger than I think what people give me credit for. I think sometimes when, you know, they say that, you know, the quietest one in the room is usually the more dangerous one. You are this, you know, you really are polite, quiet, and sometimes I guess people can take that as a weakness, but far from it when you're in the ring. Yeah, 100%. Like I was saying there, everyone's got a story. Just because I don't shout about how hard things have been or anything like that doesn't mean I haven't got heart, doesn't mean I haven't got desire. We're looking forward to you putting on a performance. I wish you all the best. Hopefully, I will be there ringside this time to watch the fight. Savannah Marshall, it's the roll back. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Bring it on. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.